so today we are going to be talking about uh, Brunelleschi and in particular the Florence Cathedral Dome. So if you recall from the Masaccio uh, video, he was uh, friends with him and he was credited with um, you know, discovering perspective and um, Masaccio incorporated that into the own art and Brunelleschi um, into art, sculpture, and, um, and architecture. He started as a goldsmith and a sculptor. Uh, he actually uh, was in a competition to, uh, for the commission for um, the baptistry doors of San Giovanni. It came down to him and uh, Gilberti. Uh, they both had done panels in bronze, uh, depicting a scene of Abraham about to sacrifice Isaac to God, and uh, both gorgeous um, bronze pieces or uh, panels, but uh, Gilberti won. And uh, Brunelleschi's uh, biographer actually says that it was because of this loss that um, Brunelleschi turned to architecture, uh, which you know, good on that choice because I'm sure a lot more people visit the Florence Cathedral Dome than the Baptistry Doors of San Giovanni. So uh, he actually won the commission for that one. Uh, he was the only one who could answer the panel's question. They had one question, which was um, to, they asked them to stand an egg up. Um, and he took the egg and cracked it and stood it up, like got rid of the bottom, stood it up like that. And um, if you look at the dome, it actually kind of resembles the top of an egg. So maybe he took some inspiration from that question. And um, he invented, uh, I mean, he's completely an innovative, uh, he was like the first engineer, um, amazing architect. He invented some of the machines used to complete the dome. Um, it, the first in history use of a double shell, like a thin thin layers of double shell um, for, for the outside. It was started. And then uh, also really impressive, it matches the cathedral uh, really well. The cathedral was started in um, 1296 and the dome was done in 14... 20, um, between the years 1420 and, and 1436. So I um, was able to really marry the two, the, the, the church, the cathedral, and this dome and, and make a cohesive um, unit there. So um, he was able to do that. It was, it was started 171 feet in the air, like so on top of the already built cathedral, brought the dome up 171 feet, and the dome is 376 feet high. It weighs 37,000 tons, and they used 4 million bricks uh, to complete it. So uh, <laughs> they um, they stacked the bricks in a herringbone pattern, which is really crucial to the design there. And they um, they they all around was it uh, was done all around, and they met in the middle at the top. And the mathematics that had to go into getting that completely correct I mean could you imagine you know you're you're working both sides up and you know they're not they're not meeting but you know they met perfectly so it's really really impressive um and the city of Florence uh I mean commissioned him to do many buildings they honored him when he died to um they honored him by burying his body in the in the crypt of the of the cathedral which is very nice so um, yeah, Brunelleschi, an early Renaissance master, um, in, in architecture and in, uh, art and sculpture. Um, so, yeah, thank you for listening.